Hey, BG Radio here with Dungeon Souls, a randomly generated hack and slash dungeon crawler. Uh, I'm on the second floor of the Dark Dungeons right now with a cleric. I thought I'd start in the middle of one because this is normal difficulty. And this game's typically hard. <laughs> and so starting on the second floor is a good place to start things because I have a fear that I'm going to die. So I just drink a potion to get my health back. It's by Mike Studios. And uh, I didn't already say it, it's early access. So there's currently six classes, I believe. There's like two melee and two others that are um, ranged. And I'll show those off. Oh, I leveled up in a moment. Because like I said, oh, I got... Well, okay, I got hit by a trap <laughs> when I went to level up. I stepped on the thing, the trigger, and I didn't even know it was there. Oh, I could, I'm a cleric, I can heal myself. Why am I wasting my potions? Uh, I haven't really played the cleric much, as you might be able to notice. But look at this crazy stuff. I can build a holy wall. Every class has like two special abilities. Right now the cleric has the offensive one where I can make a wall. It'll duplicate this little holy light ball I shoot out, which is really good and useful when um, you're trying to accomplish your objective, which I will also explain. There are these marks on the ground and a locked door on each floor of the dungeon. And the locked door won't open until I trigger all of these... Hello. All of these marks on the floor. So every time I do that, a horde of, you know, baddies just pops up surrounding me. And there's also guys that just pop in every now and then, like this dude and that dude up here. So if I use the mouse wheel, I can switch to this healing circle, which is the first time I've done this. And it's healing me over time. Like, I don't know, how long did that last? I'll look at it in a moment. Uh, per three seconds, I don't know how long it lasted. Like, a, you know, somewhere between five, five and ten seconds, somewhere in between there. So I'm gonna put down another holy wall, trigger this, and then just go nuts. So, as I was saying, melee classes, there's the barbarian and the warrior. I've tried them both out on easy, and they work, but then I also tried them out on normal, and I got wrecked every single time. So the wizard, the archer, the cleric, and the wizard, archer, cleric, and the rogue, or the thief, I forget which, how they call it, those are all ranged, and ow. And the ranged classes seem to work on normal. <laughs> I don't know if that's an early access thing, like they're gonna balance them, but I just can't make them work. On easy, I got really far with the barbarian. Now. That was a ton of fun. I just sat in the corner and shot this guy. That's what ranged people can do. Now here's a shop. Shop uh, has three random items. And you can't hurt the shopkeeper like in Spelunky or anything like that. Or I think Vagante is another game that's in early access. And uh, you can I think you can attack the shop person there too. This dude's red, which means he's a stronger version of the regular variant. Like this bat is what he is. One shot took that bat out. But it took multiple. <laughs> to take him out, but he, they always seem to drop a chest. Whether or not that chest has anything good in it is random. Oh, this had a brain, which I can look at it in a moment. I'm being shot here. Um, there's your inventory is on one of these buttons. I'll figure it out in a moment. <laughs> but there are a few other functions that you can do other than just shoot things and pick up stuff. Press spacebar to pick up stuff, which is sometimes hard. Press tab to level up, look at your stats. Um, press M way over here, look at your map, and then another button actually opens your inventory, which it's not I. <laughs> so the Redeemer has arrived. That's not good for me because... Okay, I'm gonna buy... You only buy one item. Oh crap, 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 crap. Okay, so the Redeemer eats my health, as you might have noticed there. I didn't realize he was so close. Now I'm on normal. I'm not thinking I'm gonna survive this, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna try! I want to get this wall out as soon as I possibly can. I also want to get some health. Alright. Nope. So I'm fighting the Skeleton King. He's not very nice. He likes to occasionally fire huge blue balls. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna get this out. And just start launching. He's got 1,500 health. That's how you know you're playing on normal. Because on easy, he's got like half the health. <laughs> it's not so bad. 
All right, get a little quick heal here. Okay. So this might take a while, and uh, but the way the game works is that I believe they updated it, and in the past maybe you just had to spend money. I'm not sure if that's how it works. But you just spent gold out oh, crap to level up your characters, like permanently. Because if I die now and start over, the cleric's back at level one. Every item I picked up is lost. That's kind of the roguelike element, you know. But there are some permanent ways to power yourself up to give yourself a better chance of making it to the end. Okay, I didn't expect them to do that! <laughs> I'm gonna have to do the quick heal. Oh no, okay. So, I'm getting I'm getting torn apart here because... Oh jeez, I'm dead. Okay, so there's just no, no chance. So yeah, like a lot of health left. I didn't have a lot of items, but you can't just keep buying items. You buy one, the shop disappears and he drops you a random potion. Ah, uh, but I planned on dying anyway. So I'm going to go back to the main menu and we're going to look at a different character and I'm also going to play it on easy because that's that was normal. I can make it that far on normal with the ranged character. So Barbarian, strong power, large health. Um, pretty good, you know, six, three plus three. I don't really know why it's three plus three for your attack. If he's got two axes, I'm not sure if that's what's going on. But that's just the way it is. Um, the archer, the most accurate, can shoot multiple arrows. I got pretty far with the archer on easy as well. The thief, I did a really good... I think I had a really good run maybe on normal, but I don't think I beat the skeleton king with the thief. There's the warrior. Uh, and it's the warrior I played earlier before this. I started recording this. And it really just begged the question of how do you play through normal or even nightmare with a melee character because you gotta get close and when you get close to these melee creatures they hit you like there's no dodging there's no rolling i think you have to level up on maybe you can level up on easy and then come back to a higher difficulty there's the wizard better crowd control burn enemies and the cleric which i just played uh so i'm gonna show off i like the barbarian right now more than the warrior so i'm gonna show that off on easy i got really far I'll say it again. So it's gonna be like a whole different game other than getting shot in the face with an arrow right there. So there are traps. There's the traps you can see and the traps you can't see, but the good thing about the traps you can't see is if you step on the trigger, it'll say click, you'll hear a click. So I can do this. And just wail on people. And that's what I like about the Barbarian. So you can't, ooh, thorn mail, two damage to enemies on collision. So now I got spikes. So I just keep doing this. So the game on easy is kind of a little, you know, repetitive. I mean, the entire game really is repetitive. It's just hack and slash. But on easy, your chance of dying on a regular floor is really kind of low. And the bosses is... That's where you're going to have your problem, is on a boss. Which is fine, because I want to make it to the second level for this game, Curious. All right, so thunder. See, knock me away. See, I'm getting hit. Like he hit me before I can even hit him. But I mean, you can try to dodge because he's big and slow. But the small enemies, there's a bunch of them, and it's really hard to just dodge him. So I'm gonna give myself some more defense, pick up a healing potion, and go about my merry way. That's not an exit. There's a bat chasing me. Did I, I triggered that? Yeah. So the Barbarian is a little slow. You can upgrade your speed. Sometimes it's highly recommended. The Cleric was a lot faster. Whoa, boy. So I'm going to... Oh, jeez. Oh, I forgot to switch back. Wreck these archers. Um, beat this bat. And Zombie Tooth. That's pretty good. You get health back for standing in blood. So if I just stand here, I'm getting health back a little faster than your normal regeneration rate, which is like one health every, I don't know, five seconds or something like that. So really, I can just stand here. And it's not until every mark has been activated that the Redeemer will show up maybe 30 seconds later. I have spent a lot of time on a floor before and the Redeemer never showed up. And then as soon as I triggered that last mark and they goofed off a little bit, the Redeemer showed up. I've not been killed by the Redeemer yet, but... Oh, Molotov, I can create fire. It's uh, something right now that I kind of don't like is that, see there's six marks, 
and there's no way for me to know if I've got all the marks because it's not telling me that there's six marks when I'm away from the door. So sometimes I go into a corner and I'm like, how many marks have I activated? And then I head back towards the door and it's like, there's one more left. And I'm like, well, I didn't see it. <laughs> there is a compass that will always show you where the exit is. That's a good item. Uh, unless you want to memorize where you are relative to everything else. But I haven't found the item unless that item exists or will exist in the future that can tell me there's one, two, three, four. It looks like it was in that corner. I thought I got that mark. Like it looked like it was lit up to me. Oh, maybe it's because there's lights. There's a light on it. I think I didn't. I thought I went in there and then that trap maybe spawned or something. So yeah, I didn't get that because there was light shining on it. I also left some gold line on the ground. The lighting in this game uh, I'm talking about is really well done. I really like how these kind of these retro looking games, these kind of pixel art looking games, have just really amazing lighting effects. Uh, Vagante I mentioned earlier, it's another roguelike. That one, or uh, it's another early access roguelike, that one also has some really good lighting. You like go into caves, you're like, you're spelunking in a way. but. I believe it's got some good lighting. It's just, it's just a good looking game as well. I'm pretty excited about that one. They just shoved a bookcase on top of the mark. Oh my, so sometimes you pick up a potion and the potion is terrible. That one decreased my attack, so I'm kind of sad about that. See, now it's going to take me a little longer to beat the crap out of people, which is not what I want. <laughs> This boxing glove, a uh, stronger knockback. What's it called? Pac-Man's glove? <laughs> Knockback's pretty good, except for I'm um, melee now, so I kind of want to be up in it. But, oh man, see, there's there's a bit of variance in my attack as well. I'm going to pick up the Cat's Claw. Max health is up. Um, I, I wonder if you want to move the map button to somewhere closer to where my left hand actually is. It being on M is kind of awful. So... killed everyone. So, so far the game is pretty much, you know, as I've described, you, you activate marks, you go through the next door, you fight some bosses, but you need to get a, uh, a soul orb to upgrade characters, and I have yet to actually get one. I don't know if you have to get through a, a set number of levels, a set number of floors to get that item, but I have not gotten one yet. I've been unable to level up my, my heroes here permanently. So it'd be nice if you can, and I kind of feel like just due to how hard normal is, and I haven't even attempted Nightmare, I can before this Game Curious is over, just so we can see it, but I'm like, I think you kind of got to play this one easy, because otherwise you're just going to get really frustrated, unless you play a ranged character, then it's a lot of fun, it's really hard, and like right now I can talk and fight, I'm kind of forgetting what I'm doing in the game because it's just so easy on easy with the melee character. It's like the opposite. I'm sure it's really hard. Uh, not really hard, but I'm sure it's also easy with a uh, ranged character on easy too. So, if I was on normal, I would just run past all these guys and go through the door. But, man, if my attack hadn't gone down, I just really want to see if there was something good in there. I don't come on. See, sometimes I get into a problem where I'm like on top of the item and I'm pressing space bar and it acts like I'm not. Like right here. See, like he hit me for three and four, and I've got like 130 health. I'll go ahead and heal up the. Oh, he teleported right when I triggered it. But as you can see, he's got 750 health instead of 1,000. 500. Dodging his ground attacks are really easy, though. I'm, I think I've berserked. I might have an item that lets me berserk. It's a pretty good item. I think it just means you uh, hit harder. I don't think I was attacking any faster. Eat lightning. He's doing a lot of teleporting. But see, even on easy, it takes a, quite a while to fight this boss to actually get rid of him. Stuck on the spikes for no good reason. But see, I'm like not as worried as I was when I played on normal with my cleric. That was also the first time I'd really played the cleric. <laughs> this game does have a free demo uh, 
I believe it's on their their main website. Uh, I forget if Steam the Steam page has the demo as well, but that's where I first saw it. So I played this weeks, months ago maybe. I got some something in a jar. <laughs> I'll look. Well, I say I'll look at it in a moment, but I forget what the inventory button is. You don't typically have to look at your inventory. I mean, you just have things. Okay, I can do this. But see, yeah, it's almost over. He wouldn't teleport away from me. I'm berserked. So I think I just have an item that makes me berserk. Might have been one of the last items I picked up. But yeah, he's gone. Still have to kill the enemies. And easy peasy. Look, I almost have full health. I only used a potion maybe twice during that fight. Uh, a Molotov again. Fear chance to slow enemies on hit for one second. Uh, another good potion. What's this? I don't think I've gotten this before. Oh, yeah, Bear Claw, I have gotten that. And I've got two points, so I'm going to... Like, it's just one plus, one plus seven. So I think... I don't know. I mean, I miss, the number on the left must be, like, the lowest amount I might hit, and the number on the right is the highest I could have the possibility of hitting. So if I put a point in there, now I can... I'll hit... The lowest I'll hit is two, but the most I can get is seven. And I'm going to speed myself up. The bottom stat here this is your cooldown for your abilities. I'm fairly certain. No, it's just a regular chest. There's a cannonball, chance for attack to explode. But look at the lighting on this level. Like, I'm in the sewers, and it's just... It's really dark, and it's kind of hard to see, unless there's lights. I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like a really fat... Maybe it's a bloated fly. This rat just teleported into my face. There's a really gross mushroom thingy. So there's a golden key. It might open all golden chests, but I've only, I've hardly seen a golden chest. I'm gonna pick it up in case I do see one, because, okay, come on. I'm trying to make a decision here. Stupid rat just dashing back and forth in my face. Oh, see, like, there was the click. I triggered a boulder, which went rolling down the corridor. Oh, I did it again! <laughs> so if you missed it the first time, there was the second one. Uh, I'm gonna trigger this. Yeah, I'm berserking. I think I did 16 damage on that berserk. Curse chest. Oh boy. Uh, what's that? Uh, buckler, chance to bury attack. I say bury, parry attacks. I'm gonna open this. I've never seen it. It was cursed, but it gave me walk faster on crit and a potion. So I guess maybe sometimes it's bad, but in that case, it was good. I have not noticed anything bad from it. Uh, poison. I'm poisoned. Stupid rats. And I'm berserked. The berserk's good, the poison's bad. Man, see now I'm getting I'm getting a little crazy. Like there was fire everywhere. Oh, this thing's hitting me pretty rough. I do not want to die now. I'm going to hit you with that sweet lightning, son. Oh boy. Stupid rats won't stop teleporting in. Okay, there's Ah, I hate that. So there are potions that teleport you. One time I I think I got two of those in a row, so I teleported, bought some stuff. And then ran back, bought some other stuff, got another potion, and then it teleported me like back to where I got teleported the first time. And I was like, will you stop? But the game's still in early access, so more potions might get added in the future, so the rarity of that situation will probably increase. That would be nice. I really don't want to grab like three teleports in a row. Get them! Just get that money, and get this last... Oh boy. Come on, calm down. <laughs> I took the two damage from the spikes! Get him. Oh, I should have hit the, the red guy, I didn't see him. Yeah, heal myself. So it's really good to rotate between your special abilities. Um, the only... crap. I, you use mouse wheel to do that, and sometimes it's a little annoying of a thing to have to mouse up. Mouse up, always. Like, it doesn't just change it. Up's always your, your left one, and down's always your right one. I accidentally took a potion. <laughs> it's fine, I mean, I've got ten of them. I don't know what this thing is, but I just attack it. Because it kind of moved with me, so I think it's going to do bad things. 
Just always assume bad things. Nothing in here is my friend except for the shopkeeper and anything that orbits me. There is a, uh... He got right in the way. I think it still killed the, the gloob. The gloob. The globu. Uh, teleport another one in here. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> Yeah, this gr see this green thing shot that at me. That's good that I assumed it was not on my side. Is there something you want to know about me? Some people might already know this about me, but I think I really like about this game, other than its lighting and its kind of style, and it just it's another game that has the word souls in it, is that ow. I like games where you fight things and a lot of just numbers and colorful crap just flies up on the screen like crit crit five damage you've earned a lot of experience that this game's just appealing to me oh i don't have a silver key but i have a gold one. Oh, this green thing's bad because it sits there for a long time and then it just launches itself at you and this is easy but on normal if you're not paying attention that can really hurt and there's like no there's no way to know right now what it just happens to go it just moves every now and then. Yeah, it doesn't like start shaking first. Let's see it hit me for 12. There's just no way to know. It's just gonna move and you just need to be far enough away from it. But one time I was in a different room and then I think I needed to go back to that room and that thing was continuing to try to dash into me. And so I went into the room and it was like right here. Like I, I'm like running up into the room. It's like right here and this launched right into me and I said some words. There's another one right here. Oh, teleport. That's great. I was right at the shop and it teleported me. But I got a potion out of the deal, so... But in its current state, this game's pretty fun. It's just... It is what it is. There's no... Like, random missions in the middle of... Your dungeon crawl. Like, kill five of these and you'll get some extra stuff. There's like It's just pretty straightforward, but it's early access, so... Maybe that'll change. Stronger... Scatter shot. Oh, this one's pretty good. I think it was the most expensive one too. But scatter shot on enemy death is great for crowds. That'll get away from me. Oh, see, there's two of them now. They're both in the room, just being real jerks. Oh, I got a rocket. I've gotten a rocket before. It's really good. It just means every see the entire room just exploded. See, I just launched these rockets, but the rockets don't kill these dashy things. Oh boy. I gotta level up here. See, I'm doing a lot of damage, but I need to find the door in case the door's open. The door is open. Yeah. So I fought this one before too. Gigantum slime. Get that. Oh wait, I want the rocket. Is that a new rocket? But I'm just gonna go ham on this slime. It's gonna be incredible. Like there's fire. See, look, this is what you want. I should have leveled up first. My speed is up. Oh boy! <laughs> Rockets everywhere! Just nothing but chaos in this corner. You picked the wrong barbarian, slime. Oh shit. Let me get a quick heal off here. Normally I, I wait until my health's really low to heal, but because there's so much going on and I'm talking, I don't want to not be paying attention, and then the slime kills me. It'd be really cool to make it to the third stage. I don't know why the its skull mass starts flashing if it that might break. Like I'm just I, I think this boss is supposed to summon other enemies, kinda like every, the skeleton king, but it's not really doing it. Maybe because I'm giving it too much trouble. It's over, son. It's over, slime son. Ah, come on! Ah, it, it summons them on death. <laughs> I got rockets. I am not a feared. Better accuracy. Or maybe I think, is that thing accuracy? Maybe it's not cooldown, maybe it's accuracy. I could be wrong. It does kind of look like a targeting thing. I just assumed your accuracy was always this, but the cleric did have some variation, so maybe the higher that is, you know, the, the truer your shot. So now I got a uh, spike ball going around me. That's really good. For those close up moments when you want to hug someone. And real quick, I'm going to. I leveled up my walking. I think it's pretty good. A melee, so I don't know if my accuracy really matters. I'm going to pump it into my attack and my defense. 
go ahead and go to the Frost Caverns, because I've been here before, too. I don't think I've seen... I don't, oh, I do remember what the boss is. Okay, I have seen the boss here. I don't know how many levels there are right now. But I've made it to the boss of this one, and then I think I needed to leave. And I'm like, if I quit, does it save, or does my progress save? And I found out the answer was no, so I was a little upset. Uh, twin Blade, chance to do double damage? Yeah. I always check the room for enemies or traps just sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> a chance to do double damage? Why not? Oh, he dropped, yeah, he dropped the potion. It was a teleporting one. I was not ready for it. This room has two marks in it. See, now I just tear through it. I summon stuff, I just tear through it. I'm gonna go ahead and summon this even without having my uh, ability ready because I've got rockets and chance to do double damage. How the heck do I leave the room right here? Yeah, okay, I'm like, how the heck did I get in here? Um, check the map. I want to go to the north east corner. There's one in here. There's a snowball chase. A snowball. A snowball, man! There's really nothing in there. Like, sometimes the chests seem to be empty. I don't know if they just have money in them. Yeah, I pick it up really fast. That might be the case. Oh boy. Ah! I should have been attacking. I just ran. <laughs> oh, there's the eyeball. Monster eyeball. It shoots lasers. Oh, I teleported. So I'm looking really hot in terms of abilities right now. <laughs> really hot in the frost caverns. Okay, Cat's Claw, a Silver Key, Butterfly Wing, Cast some Whirlwind. How expensive is that? I might be able to buy that if I come back. I would like to see what that is. I've never seen it. What, you know how I said I might be able to buy that when I come back? I can buy it now. <laughs> Done. Okay, what did he drop? Oh, crap! That, po that bad potion. He dropped a really bad potion that... Damn near killed me. But I've got 19 potions. I'm just gonna heal up a little bit here. That was a real jerk move. Give me something expensive and then almost kill me. But yeah, look at all these whirlwinds. Sandstorm. Darud! There's. Oh, there's still three marks to go. Um, let's map it real quick. Check south and maybe even the... Max health increased. That was a good one. Man, I'm going real fast. What's in here? Nothing. Oh, hello. Oh, Yeti. Yeti! Yeti face! This is the safe way in. Why would I not go in the safe way? I'm berserked. Sometimes I just keep swinging. I think everything's still alive enough to get me. 20 potions! Was that everything? Yeah, door's open. Ice Golem! It's spazzing out! <laughs> get sandstormed! Ah, this one can slow me, though. Oh, sh <laughs> he, he was shooting them all over the place, and I was just kind of staying in the safe spot, and then he's like, I'll just shoot them all directly at you. Look at this craziness. But yeah, when he slows me, that's not great. Some lightning in your butt. Whoop. Come on. I'm just laying waste on you, buddy. Just laying waste going to town. You wrote your will! Get him! Ah! <laughs> I don't like being slow! Die! I had two eyeballs! <laughs> like, I'm a real person now, I have two eyeballs! I'll take that club, potion, another thorn mail. I don't know if it stacks up. I assume it does. 
I mean, these two obviously did. Look at all this stuff just going around me. Beautiful. Cathedral. I've never been here before. This is a first. Don't get shot. I triggered something. I think I triggered an explosion. Where have I been? I've, I don't know where I've been. I've been here. I've not beat this boss, though. I just haven't seen this place in a while. Arr! Lasers. Get out of here. Get sandstormed. You were born into this life. Just to be removed. Chance to detonate enemies on death. Why not add more chaos? Oh, there's a compass. Do I want that now? What's everything else? Killing five enemies heal killing five enemy heals you. Chance to turn into berserker. I want the compass. I'm tired of guessing that where this thing is. See, like now feels like the time to get the compass because I'm doing really hot. Lasers! <laughs> Speaking of hot. Go down here. Kill these flies. Dodge all the stuff. Go really fast. There's one more. It's right here. I can almost do it! Oh, they're already dead. <laughs> Look at that. Just boom, 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 boom. Oh, Thorn, Bear Claw. Better. I still don't know if Arcus accuracy is what I want. If the Archer's book is a chance to scratch enemy on hit. I guess that means if it hits me. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll go. Things that touch me take more damage or something, why not? Show me the good stuff. I'm already casting Sandstorm. So, see, it's good. It's really good to know where the door is, because then I can just kind of pan out and just make my way around the level. And not get confused about where my ultimate goal is. Two more. I'm gonna kill you for no good reason. Did I already go south? I guess I ran right. Yeah, I need to go in here. It's, it's the joy. I feel like easy gives you the joy of running into a room. I know I left a jewel in there. And just obliterating everyone. Here's the last one. Like, they, as soon as they spawn, I was just ready. Like, peace. Get out of here. I step on the spikes. I give no give no cares. All right, Soul Guardian. Oh boy! I oh come on! We doing this? Eat lightning! Oh boy, he's hitting hard. He's hitting hard. He's hitting fast. Let me try to pick up an <laughs> pick one of those up. Eyeballs don't fail me now. Get up in it! Watch your health! Don't get greedy! Another eyeball! Get it! <laughs> I've got three eyes now! Oh, come on. Man, he like knocked me away from it. How many potions? How many potions I have? My whole life is left to this moment. 23 potions! Oh crap. So don't get greedy. Eyeballs, do do some work. Always always potion. Always be potioning. Oh he's so strong. Yeah, that gives me no chance to Oh, shot. Alright, kid, come to me. Alright, back up, back up. Let up, just let him dance on top of my sandstorm. Heal up. Wail into him, look at all these crits. Count the crits. Oh, get the defense! Ah! 
We almost got him! Potion! <laughs> Alright. Oh, shh. That's the worst move in the world! You just won't stop doing it. Everyone spam! Heal! Where is he? I wanna kill you! Oh boy, Soul Orb, I got it! Oh, that's Game Curious Power, baby. I got my first Soul Orb. There was nothing in that chest. That is the saddest thing in my entire life. Oh, man. I was going to do a nightmare mode because I thought I was going to die. Holy crap. Look at all these bodies. They hit the floor. And it starts over. I figured that hap would happen. <laughs> Dark Dungeons 2. Well, I'll leave Nightmare as a, uh, an incentive for anyone who is interested by what they just saw on easy, mind you. If you liked that, uh, either wait for this game to come out of early access or go ahead and just get into the process now because, wow, that was... That felt good. Cutting that guy down felt good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm BG Radio. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean, I'm. I'm still feeling. I'm BG Radio with Horrible Night. This has been another game. Curious. I'll catch you next time. Soul Orb. <laughs>